In this video, we're going to share with you 10 tips that will help you achieve your simple living goals and change the way you think about minimalism. So let's dive in and start simplifying. Tip 1. Embrace imperfect minimalism. Minimalism is not about striving for perfection, but about finding what works best for you. It's about reducing the excess clutter in your life to make room for what truly matters. Let go of the idea that minimalism must be flawless and embrace the unique imperfections that make it yours. The beauty of embracing imperfect minimalism is that it frees you from the pressure of trying to be perfect. It allows you to let go of the unrealistic expectations you may have set for yourself and instead focus on your progress. You don't have to declutter your entire home in one day or have a perfectly curated wardrobe. You can start small and build from there. The imperfections that come with minimalism also bring character and personality into your life. They tell a story of your journey towards simplicity and the small victories that you have achieved along the way. Embracing these imperfections is what makes your minimalist journey unique and personal. Tip 2. Apply minimalism to your digital life. We live in a digital age where technology dominates almost every aspect of our lives. It's easy to accumulate digital clutter and become overwhelmed by the constant stream of notifications, emails, and social media updates. That's why it's essential to apply minimalism to your digital life and declutter the excess digital noise. Minimalism isn't just about decluttering physical possessions. It's also about simplifying your digital life. The benefits of a minimalist digital life are numerous. Increased productivity, reduced stress, and improved mental clarity. By minimizing digital distractions, you can focus on what truly matters and lead a more intentional life. To apply minimalism to your digital life, start by decluttering your social media accounts. Unfollow people or pages that don't add value to your life and curate your feed to include content that aligns with your values and interests. You'll be surprised by how much more enjoyable social media can be when you're not bombarded by irrelevant posts. Another way to minimize digital clutter is to organize your email inbox. Delete old emails and unsubscribe from newsletters that no longer interest you. Set up filters to sort your emails automatically and archive or delete emails as soon as you've read them. A tidy inbox can do wonders for your mental clarity. Finally, consider limiting your screen time by practicing digital minimalism. Turn off notifications for apps that don't require immediate attention and schedule specific times for checking your email and social media accounts. By doing so, you'll be more present in the moment and less distracted by the constant buzz of your phone. Tip 3. Try a minimalist wardrobe challenge. A minimalist wardrobe challenge can be a fun and eye-opening experience. The goal is to reduce your wardrobe to only the essentials, the clothing items that you love and wear regularly. By doing so, you'll discover a new sense of freedom and simplicity that you may never have thought possible. To start the challenge, take a good look at your closet and assess the items that you own. Begin by removing any clothing that you haven't worn in the past six months, as chances are you won't wear them in the future either. Then, create a capsule wardrobe a collection of versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched to create multiple outfits. Don't be afraid to get creative with your minimalist wardrobe. Try new outfit combinations and experiment with different accessories to create unique looks. You'll be surprised by how much you can do with just a few basic pieces. The benefits of a minimalist wardrobe are numerous. You'll save time and money by not constantly shopping for new clothes or deciding what to wear each day. Plus, you'll have more space in your closet, making it easier to keep everything organized and tight. Tip 4. Simplify your meal planning and preparation. To begin, take an inventory of your pantry, fridge, and freezer. Discard any expired items and take note of what you have on hand. From there, plan your meals for the week, making use of what you already have in your kitchen. This not only saves time and money, but also reduces food waste. When it comes to meal preparation, Keep it simple. Choose easy-to-make meals that don't require a lot of prep time or complicated instructions. Consider batch cooking, preparing large quantities of food that can be stored and eaten throughout the week. This can also be a great way to save time and money. Another way to simplify your meal planning and preparation is to embrace minimalism in your grocery shopping. Stick to a list of essential items and avoid impulse purchases. 
Shop at local farmers markets or bulk stores to reduce waste and support your community. The benefits of a minimalist approach to meal planning and preparation are numerous. By simplifying your meals, you can reduce stress and anxiety, improve your health, and save time and money. Plus, it can be a great opportunity to get creative in the kitchen and try new recipes with the ingredients you have on hand. Tip 5. Declutter your home. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Decluttering your home is a key aspect of embracing minimalism, but it can often feel daunting and overwhelming. However, there are unconventional ways to declutter your home that can make the process more manageable and even enjoyable. One way to declutter your home in an unconventional way is to practice gratitude. Take a moment to appreciate the items you have in your home and consider how they serve you. This can help you identify which items truly bring you joy and which ones are just taking up space. Another unconventional decluttering method is to use the one-in, one-out rule. For every new item you bring into your home, donate or sell one item you no longer need or use. This helps you maintain a clutter-free home and encourages more intentional purchases. You can also try a digital declutter by going through your email inbox and unsubscribing from unnecessary newsletters and promotions. This can reduce digital clutter and help you feel more organized and in control. If you have sentimental items that are difficult to part with, try taking a photograph of the item before donating or selling it. This can help you preserve the memory without cluttering up your home. Tip 6. Practice mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness is about being present and fully engaged in the current moment. By focusing on your breath or your senses, you can cultivate a sense of calm and clarity, even in the midst of a hectic day. Meditation is a deeper form of mindfulness that involves sitting quietly and observing your thoughts without judgment. Through this practice, you can learn to let go of negative thought patterns and cultivate a more positive and peaceful mindset. Incorporating mindfulness and meditation into your daily routine doesn't have to be complicated or time-consuming. Even just a few minutes of focused breathing or quiet reflection can have a profound impact on your well-being. There are many different types of meditation and mindfulness practices to explore, from guided meditations to yoga and tai chi. The key is to find what works best for you and commit to making it a regular part of your routine. The benefits of mindfulness and meditation are numerous. They can help reduce stress and anxiety, improve your mood and focus, and enhance your overall sense of well-being. Plus, they provide a powerful tool for cultivating a more intentional and fulfilling life. Tip 7. Experiment with alternative transportation. Transportation is a vital part of our daily lives. We rely on it to get us from point A to point B, whether it's for work, school, or leisure activities. However, traditional forms of transportation such as cars can often contribute to a cluttered and stressful lifestyle. That's why experimenting with alternative modes of transportation can be a great way to simplify your life while also reducing your carbon footprint. Biking, walking, or taking public transportation can help you slow down and appreciate your surroundings while also promoting a healthier and more sustainable lifestyle. Not only is biking or walking an eco-friendly option, but it also has numerous physical and mental health benefits. It can improve your cardiovascular health, boost your mood, and reduce stress levels. Plus, it allows you to experience your community in a whole new way, noticing details you may have missed before while driving. Public transportation, such as buses or trains, can also be a great alternative to driving. It allows you to relax and focus on other things, such as reading or catching up on work, instead of being stuck in traffic. Even if you can't completely give up your car, incorporate an alternative modes of transportation into your routine, such as walking or biking to work a few times a week can make a big difference in simplifying your life and reducing your environmental impact. Tip 8. Incorporate minimalist design principles into your home. Minimalist design is all about simplicity, functionality, and purpose. It emphasizes clean lines, neutral colors, and natural materials, and focuses on the essentials while eliminating clutter and unnecessary objects. By adopting these principles in your home, you can create a space that is both visually appealing and practical.
One way to incorporate minimalist design into your home is to start by decluttering and getting rid of items that you no longer need or use. This can be a challenging process, but it is essential to create a space that feels calm and uncluttered. Next, focus on incorporating natural elements into your decor, such as plants or wooden furniture. This can help bring a sense of calmness and tranquility to your living space. In terms of color, stick to neutral hues such as whites, grays, and earthy tones. These colors can create a sense of serenity and are versatile enough to match any design style. Another key element of minimalist design is functionality. When choosing furniture or decor, prioritize items that serve a purpose and have multiple uses. This will help keep your space streamlined and prevent unnecessary clutter. Tip 9. Prioritize experiences over possessions. By focusing on experiences rather than accumulating more stuff, you can create memories and cultivate meaningful connections with others. Whether it's taking a trip, trying a new hobby, or simply spending quality time with loved ones, investing in experiences can bring a sense of fulfillment and joy that material possessions simply cannot. It's important to note that prioritizing experiences over possessions doesn't mean that you can't have any material items. It simply means that you should be intentional and mindful about the things you own and the experiences you invest in. When you do decide to make a purchase, think about the long-term value it will bring to your life. Will it enhance your experiences or simply add more clutter to your home? By prioritizing experiences over possessions, you can make conscious decisions about what you bring into your life and ensure that it aligns with your simple living goals. Tip 10. Cultivate gratitude and contentment. By focusing on the things we have and expressing gratitude for them, we can shift our mindset to one of abundance rather than lack. This can help us appreciate the present moment and find joy in the simple things in life. Cultivating gratitude and contentment doesn't mean that we can't have aspirations or goals. It simply means that we appreciate what we have in the present moment and acknowledge the good things in our lives. By doing so, we can reduce feelings of stress and anxiety and increase feelings of happiness and fulfillment. One way to cultivate gratitude is to start a daily gratitude practice. This could be as simple as writing down three things you're grateful for each day or taking a few moments to reflect on the things in your life that you appreciate. Another way to cultivate contentment is to focus on the present moment and practice mindfulness. By being fully present in the moment and appreciating what's around us, we can find joy in even the smallest thing. By implementing these 10 tips, you can embark on a journey towards a more intentional and fulfilling life. So what are you waiting for? Let's start living more simply.